Hello, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark at various places online, and also Spirit of Supergirl at the Internet Movie Database, since I'm guessing some of you probably know me from there. And it is Wednesday, November 22nd, 2006, 5.54 p.m. Don't mind the timestamps, I timestamp everything, it's a habit of mine. Anyway, this is just going to be kind of an informal commentary about uh, the season finale of Dancing with the Stars. It just ended on Tuesday of last week, which would be eight days ago. Um, I've been watching ever since season one last year, so I'm a fan. Um, I know some of you on the internet I've read have Okay, before I get into that, let me first congratulate Emmett Smith and Cheryl Burke on their win. I know some people disagree with it, but the way the voting is set up with the judges votes coming for half and the viewer votes coming for half, Emmett did win the competition, so congratulations. Now for the commentary here. First, let me go back to Season 2. Back in Season 2, I really didn't know the finalists. I mean, it came down in the, it came down to uh, Drew Lachey from 98 Degrees. I'm not a 98 Degrees fan. It came out down to Jerry Rice, the football player. I'm not a football fan. And it came down to Stacey Keebler, and I'm not a wrestling fan. But for some reason, I was rooting for Stacey. I mean, I guess I just side with female contestants and these things, but. Anyway, so if the final two had come down to True and Stacy, I mean, you know, most people agree they were the best dancers, and they one side would have quite foul if their favorite didn't win and stuff. I, I want Stacy to win, and if she had lost, I would have been upset if she had lost in the final two. But because it came down to Stacy was eliminated first, came down to Drew and Jerry, and that being the case, I, I know a lot of people believe it's probably true that Jerry's fan base carried him into the final two, but that kind of saved the competition for me, because when Drew won, he, he was clearly a better dancer of the two, so it allowed me to be happy for him as opposed to if it came down to Drew and Stacy and Drew had won, I wouldn't have been able to be as happy for him. So that was okay. Jerry's interference, if you could call it that, or his fan base's interference, that allowed me to be happy with Drew. So I was satisfied with the way season two went. With season three, I'm a Saved by the Bell fan. Not sure why, but. I was rooting for Mario Lopez, obviously, and he is a good dancer, so that little bit of familiarity with him as Slater made me want him to win. Okay, same thing happened as uh, last season. It came down to a really good dancer and a football player. That was Mario Lopez versus Emmett Smith. If it came, and Chewy Lawrence was limited in the semifinals. Now, I had only watched a bit of Blossom growing up, so I wasn't as much a fan of Joey Lawrence as I was of Mario Lopez. If it came down to Mario and Joey, ironically, I would have been satisfied if either of them had won, because they were clearly both good dancers. If Mario won, I would have been like, yeah, go Slater or Super Mario, or whatever. But if Joey had won, I would have been like, oh, good, okay, Joey won, he's good too. It came down to Mario and Emmett Smith. Obviously, Emmett Smith's huge fan base carried him into the finals. When Emmett won, I, I was, well, I wouldn't say surprised, but I was disappointed. I really wanted Mario Lopez to win. Because, come on, it, it's, <coughs> Sorry, it's Mario, 
Um, well, if you look at the way Emma Smith dances, he, he clearly, he can dance, don't get me wrong, and he, he did good, he, he was decent, but he stuck to very easy moves. He, he kind of played it safe, and his partner, Cheryl Burke, who won season two, by the way, with Drew Lachey, she did all of the fancy stuff around him. If you go back and watch their dances, Emma dances, but she also wants to do all the really fancy stuff to make, to make them look good as a whole. For some reason, maybe to avoid the controversy in season one between you know Kelly Monaco and Shana Hurley, Kelly won the competition, but when they did the uh, the dance off, the rematch, where the judges' votes didn't count for anything and only the audience votes counted, John O'Hurley won. I guess the judges might have been trying to avoid something like that for season three, because I don't remember what they did in season two, but in season three, in the semifinals and the finals, both contestants end up being tied. I mean, it, it's so obvious that the judges kind of want to wash their hands and think they're like, okay, whoever wins, it ain't our fault. It's you, the viewers at home, that did, that did it. So, okay, so basically, semifinals, Mario, Joey, and Emma all tied. It was like a three-way tie for first place. I mean, that was stupid. And then, in finals. Mario and Emmett were tied for first place. I mean, so it was just up to viewers at home. Clearly, Emmett had the bigger fan base. I guess there's more football fans than Safe by the Bell fans. I know a lot of people on the internet said that football fans don't watch Dance with the Stars, but even if they don't watch, they know he's on there and they're going to vote for him. So they voted for Emmett Smith, maybe without even watching the show because. He's like their hero or something. Mario Lopez is clearly the better dancer. Even Joey Lawrence is a better dancer than Emmett Smith. So I'm disappointed. I, I kind of, be honest here, I'm disappointed that Mario did not win. I wanted Mario to win. I voted for Mario online. I cast my mom's votes for Mario. I called up on the phone. I also voted for Mario twice. Didn't help. So, I mean, you know, Mario went to his old high school to get people to vote for him. Emmett went to a football stadium. Yeah, who's going to get more votes? I mean, <laughs> I mean, Joey went to Disney World. It didn't help him. Or was it Disneyland? I can't remember. But anyway, so, yeah. I, I'm disappointed in the way that it turned out. It's supposed to be a dancing contest. You're supposed to vote for the best dancer. It's not supposed to be a popularity contest or a nice guy contest. And both, of, both all three of them actually behaved nicely. But that shouldn't count for anything. It shouldn't count for, you know, who you're personal favorite is unless it comes down to two equally qualified dancers and this wasn't the case. Mario show form. I mean that's it. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. So feel free to leave me comments, agree or disagree, whatever. Anyway, it is 6.03 p.m. Thank you for watching.